What's poppin' party people? If you're new here, I'm Maria. This is my dog, Blue, and we are currently living in my ex-military Land Rover Defender. Look at this sucker, he's right-hand drive. We're on a 50 state road trip traveling the entire country, currently in Texas, and today's a little bit different of a vlog because we are truck camping with a subscriber today. It's gonna be super fun, I'm really pumped, but I just ran into a hurdle. <laughs> Hey, there's a little change of plans. Can you meet me at the Marble Falls Starbucks? Okay. Meet me there and we'll we'll reconvene. Okay. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay, okay bye. <laughs> plans are changing. Good boy. Huh? I was going to ask you if you want to get coffee. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, yes, Eric, me. the moderator. Say hi to the vlog. Hello, vlog. How are you? If you guys don't know who Eric is, he is the moderator for my channel. We call him Sheriff Eric. So if you guys ever watch my lives, usually I do them once a month, my public lives. <laughs> he controls the comments. So if anybody's inappropriate on there or just like hating, he puts them in timeout. And it's super funny. You can just like watch Eric put people in timeout. We love him. We went to that other campsite that I got and it was really crowded. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I booked a place at the campsite I came from this morning. Okay. So I figured that'd be better because that one is like, there's not many people, you have space. Sure, yeah. Yeah, how was your drive? It was okay. Ready to get to camp? Yes. Let's do what is, it. What is it you say, off we camp to go? Off, off to camp we go. Yeah, something like that. All right, puppy, you ready? So I'm just gonna follow you. Yeah, just I think that's us, Eric. That's us? Yeah, I think we have this backwards. Really? When I, when I move, watch the... There on the ground? Huh? Oh my gosh! Thank you. <laughs> well, how lucky are we to, that it was that close? Thank yeah. you! Thanks a lot. Holy cow. The first crash. The first crash ever. We got so lucky that it crashed here. You lost some propellers. Oh, I have extra. Yeah, it had to hit uh, hit those trees. I thought it was way higher up, though. Uh, well, that might be toast. Welcome to Roaming Reckless, Eric. We're starting off with a bang. I have never crashed a drone before in my entire life. You know that? You just witnessed I, the first I time. Know. I know it's because I'm here. Yeah, you're bad yeah, luck. Yeah, yeah. Eric, you gotta go. I know. <laughs> Man. Oh, there's one propeller right here. Yep. Dang, so I really hit a tree for the first time. Kinda cute. I was just trying to show you uh, how life usually goes on the road. I wanted to give you the full experience. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can see. That's what's cool about that auto follow feature is it automatically avoids obstacles. So you can just not worry about what you're doing. Dang. 
Oh, we found it. Yeah, I guess let's get to camp, huh? Yeah, I definitely... <laughs> you definitely did. <laughs> Yikes. We're drone. I don't know about that motor, though. That motor's a little sticky. Well, I guess let's get to camp and see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Roaming reckless. Am I right? You are right. I cannot believe I just crashed the drone for the very first time in my whole life. <laughs> of course, when I have someone camping with me too. Uh, what is going on? All right. All right, what do you need to set up? Not much, really. You don't pull anything out? Yeah. Like, when I get a cook, I will. Okay. Yeah, and I got my, my ch camping chair. Okay. Yeah, I haven't gotten a table yet, so I'm gonna have to mooch off yours. Oh, you can use yeah. it. It's dirty, but yeah. go for it. Fine, I'll get cleaning wipes, Eric. <laughs> I know, you know, all of these stains have probably been on here since Rue. Probably like Idaho last summer is where they all came from. <laughs> Would you like to give the people a tour of your rig? Um, give them a little walkthrough. Well, Say later because there's something in there that needs to come out. What? Yours. Where is it? It's right there. It's right there. Dang! Look at that beast. I bet you guys are wondering what's in this box. Let me take a few minutes to show you. It is the Jackery Explorer 3000 Pro. So it's their new solar power generator. It's just like the one that I have in my rig, but just think a newer, bigger, better version. Thank you to Jackery for sponsoring this portion of today's video. As you guys know, currently I'm using the Explorer 2000 Pro by Jackery. This is my everyday generator. I use it morning, noon, night, midnight, while I'm sleeping, this thing is constantly being used. I have it hooked up to a solar panel on the roof rack of my vehicle. So as you can see, I've got some input in here. It's connected through this wire that runs all the way through the door jam and up. This thing is one of the most important parts of my build. Like I could not do what I do without it. So I'm really excited to see what essentially the big brother model of the 2000 Pro is gonna be like. The Explorer 3000 Pro is essentially just like a bigger, brother to the one that I have currently. Actually, let me show you guys a size comparison really quick, just for reference. So as you can see, it is quite a bit larger, but there is an extra thousand watts, so it would make sense. The battery capacity is incredible at 3000 watts. Whether you're someone like me, where you're just traveling out of a truck and you don't have a super big rig or you're traveling the country in an RV, having a solar power generator is a staple in my opinion. Like if you're stranded somewhere, and you have a solar panel and one of these guys, you're good to go. You know, at least you know you've got power. At least you know you can charge your devices. You can call somebody if need be. It's just, I always think of it like in emergency situations too. They're great to have. Having so many ports is super beneficial, especially for somebody like me. I have like five or six different types of cameras. I have portable fans I have to charge. I have a computer I have to charge, a phone. I have all of these devices that I have to charge on top of all of my camping gear as well. So the issue I run into is I run out of places to charge stuff. Look at all this. Charging, charging, charging. Okay, so currently I have charging my portable fan, my computer, my editing headphones, my camera batteries, my phone, my Apple Watch, and I still have extra ports that I could be charging stuff. So it's safe to say you're not gonna run out of ports very easily with the 3000 Pro. Like this is, this is pretty nuts. And what's cool is that, okay, so I'm using 104 watts right now. With no input, it could still charge for up to 20 hours. All of these devices consistently. This thing is a beast. This thing's putting in work. Honestly, I'm just really excited that I'm gonna be able to charge everything all at once while I go to sleep and I don't have to charge in shifts anymore. And when I get my solar panel connected to it and then it's got input going in, 
It's gonna be a really good setup, you guys. This is like perfect if you're living on the road full time. Like great, even if you just wanna go on the weekends, but especially if you're on the road full time or you're thinking about it, 100% would go with the 3000. Like this is necessary. So as far as the inputs on this generator, you have options for both wall charging and for solar input, like I said. Um, actually, if I, if I could complain about something, it's this input door for me. Listen, maybe it's because my nails are really short and so like I can't get my finger in there, but I always have to take something to like open it. Maybe, you know what, that's probably just a me problem because like I don't, I don't have nails to work with. But if I were to complain about something, it would be this door. <laughs> okay. So you got your solar panel inputs right here, your wall charger, pretty nifty. See, watch me, watch me try to open this. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe it was just new and stuck. Okay, I'm like the third try I get it, so. Disregard, maybe that's just a me <laughs> According to Jackery, if you use the AC plug input, you can charge this entire thing from zero to 100 in 2.4 hours. That is nuts, okay? If you use the DC input, it takes three to four hours, which still is not much when you think about it. To get it to full charge, this is perfect for somebody like me who happens to be impatient. So it's like, this is great because I can just wheel this thing to Starbucks when I go to edit and upload and it'll be totally charged by the time I'm done. It's just a quick Starbucks trip for my friends that are out there on the road like me, you know? It's nothing. And while this has huge battery capacity, it's also super portable, which is important if you're like me and you have scoliosis, okay? You don't wanna be toting stuff around using your back like I have to. Let me show you what this guy does that's different from the Jackery that I currently have. And I love it. I love it. This sucker is on double wheels and it has a handle. They call it the portable suitcase style. Look at this. Whoops. This thing is so easy. I charged this at Starbucks earlier today and I wheeled it there and when I tell you, it makes the world of a difference. I mean, you guys have seen me carry the 2000 Pro before, right? Also for my techies out there, there is an app that you can use with this generator too. So you can check your usage, you can check your stats, see what percent you're at, if you're charging, it's got all of the uh, features in there. So if you like apps, you can now connect your Jackery to one. Come on, bub, we gotta go. Let me get my suitcase. Look how easy this is. Yeah. All right, you guys, last but not least, it's covered under a five year warranty, which is so long. I think that speaks volumes to Jackery's faith in their product because if anything goes wrong in five years, you're covered. You know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. Whew! I need to find a home for this guy. Oh my gosh, I'm honestly, you guys, I'm so excited about this. The more power, the better, you know? And I will be putting this thing to good use. If you guys have any questions or want more information, I'll be leaving info in the description below and I'll be in the comments chatting with you guys if you have any questions about the unit. Anyway, it's time to get back to the vlog. What did you just say, Eric? There's something for you in the domestic that you might like to drink. You might have had it before. And you said it's not water and it's not coffee. It's not water, it's not coffee. Is it over here? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tell you my guess before I open it. Okay. Is it... Olipop. I don't know. Take a look. It is. It, how do you open this thing? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's been forever since I've had one on the channel, yeah? Yeah. When was the last time, you think? I don't know. It's Months? Be yeah. Thanks, Eric. Yeah. So the, yeah. The, hey, are you going to have one? You want one? I don't like root beer, so because I'm a heathen. Yeah. Eric, you've got to yeah. leave. Yeah. Yeah, no. You've got to get out of here. I mean, it's not like the worst thing I've ever had. I'll take a sip, but... I'll check it out. Yeah. You don't like root beer, you won't like it. Yeah, yeah probably not. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate root beer, it's just not. Not your favorite? Not my jam. Yeah. What, what time do you want to eat? That's the... Whatever. I'm it... starving always, so... Okay, so let me go ahead and get the steak going. You have a Nutribullet? <laughs> a camping blender. Everybody's got one, right? Uh, dang, Eric, you came prepared. Yeah, you know. It must be nice to travel like that. One day I'll learn. Well, I've never actually done it. It's going to heat the water bath up to 129 degrees. Uh-huh. And then 
once it is, we'll add the steak and then, then it'll cook. Cool. And the other mistake that people make is they only season these two sides and just crush it lightly. Dang. The infamous cast iron, Eric. Oh my god. <laughs> Maria, what have you done? It's not that bad oh, inside. It's, not that bad. Oh, it's just somebody the... seasoned this for you. Look, look yeah. at the uh, that's from that soup. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do they... you remember that video? I do remember that video. But the inside's all that matters, so good on me, right? I'll I'll take a kinda. Kinda sorta. Of. I'll take a kinda. About 463 degrees. See it starting to smoke. Now put your hand over it. You have too many gadgets. You're like. So put them both. Eric, this is nuts. Thank you. And where is the steak knife? There you go. Thank you. Oh my One gosh. Appetite. Eric, you're a real chef. That's yeah. nuts. Just serviceable. I mean, you're talking to a girl who lives off of oatmeal, you know? So, this is crazy. Lay down. Thank you so much for cooking. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. I just told Eric I was gonna make evening coffee because I've been on that kick. And he handed me, can I use this as a stand? Yeah. I'm using Eric's almonds as a stand. He gave me 300 milligrams of caffeine. He said you have work to do, so hey. I do have a lot of work to do today, but I don't know if I wanna be up till seven in the morning. <laughs> 300 milligram black rifle. Woo, thank you. Yeah. You're gonna hear me up giggling at like four in the morning oh, in my I truck. Sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be knocking like, on my window. Well, give me that coffee. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, Eric is a professional chef. No, I am not. Yes, he actually went to culinary school. That was 100% the best meal I have ever had on the road, and I'm not lying. But also, all I eat is oatmeal, so, <laughs> you know. Yeah. You wanna show people your rig? Let me, uh, yeah, I was gonna put a few things more away, but we're starting to lose the light, so. Yeah. Probably a good. Yes. Um, but I use this to dive at night. And I can kind of like pretend like I'm Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. So, this is very nice. We'll give everybody a tour of your rig. Cool. All right, so start off by telling everybody what type of rig it is. So it's a 2005 uh, Toyota Sequoia, just a baseline model. Uh, it's got oversized tires. Um, I'll put a roof rack on it. It's a Sherpa roof rack and the reason I went with Sherpa is because they're the only company that make a full-size roof rack for the Sequoias. Mm -hmm. um, aftermarket roof rack and uh, with a uh, Rome case uh, up top and I'm gonna get two more of those uh, in addition to that one. And as far as the interior, it's very much uh, uh, patented after what you did with roof. So I've got a platform with I got that, so it's a total of seven inches of padding. I got a total of four of these drawers, two here and two in the back. And I've got them on like pulley so I can actually get them out. Nice, oh, that's what this is? Yeah. Your little wine cork? Yeah, my brother. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, my brother did that, so I would have something to actually pull on. I was told him to, to put me uh, you know, a string or something on there and he you know, went overboard as he normally does. Nice. And then I just wanted like a little aisle there that's all messy at the moment with towels and water and stuff. But usually you can like kind of put your legs there too if you need to? Yeah, I can. Or, you know, I've got the propane tank for the hot water set up that I'll show you later. And then um, just, I got a extension cord ran to the back so I can like use power back here if I need to. Yeah, the extension cord is such a great idea. I needed to do that with Poe. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that way you don't have to like, you know, plug everything directly into the right. power into the jackery. Right. Um, What's this called again? A hitch it's fire? A hitch fire grill. I just didn't want all those smells to be in the vehicle as I'm cooking. And like I had with Rue. Grease build up. And, anyway. <laughs> all this stuff everybody yells at me about. Eric is trying to avoid. A Dometic fridge. Um, How many watts did you say that runs? 
Uh, it runs off of 12 volts. I'm not sure how much wattage it uses, but it uses very little. Yeah, because mine uses like 50 or 60 watts. For, I mean, I know I have the freezer. You got the freezer, yeah. But then you said yours is like, I thought way less. It's way less. Um, it uses very little power. Your headrest, that little vent. Oh, that's a fan. So it just plugs into the power station and it'll blow air over nice. me if I need to. So that's my fan. Power station is on the other opposite end of the... I, I love this diving light that you're using. Yeah. Like I said, I can pretend like I'm Iron Man. And at the time that I bought this, Jackery did not make anything above a 2,000 watt. But I hear that they may start making a 3,000 watt soon. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. Uh, so funny yeah but you mentioned that eric yeah i know right um, <laughs> and that's essentially uh it i don't have that's my enough? solar set up yet but uh, you are going solar go, yeah going the solar very nice wow it's very roomy yeah there's a lot of headroom there i can actually sit up in bed nice so thanks for showing us your yeah, rig a little messy sorry oh i mean yeah welcome to the life <laughs> it's so funny uh when i was uh, this is a diving light if if no one heard but um, everybody had their little just normal flashlights underwater, mm -hmm. and I had this, and I was lighting up the entire <laughs> reef. So everyone started following me. Said, Let's follow Eric. He's got the light we can actually see. <laughs> right. So, and um, we got out of the water. Everybody's like, "Where did you get that light? How do I get one?" Yeah. Yeah. So that is awesome. Yeah, I haven't been diving in a long time. I need to do that. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to tell everybody when you're hitting the road or what your plan, like what your plan is for the rig? Yeah. So. And then I'll be on the road. And then you're going to be full time too. And I'll be full time too. Eric then will be roaming reckless as well. <laughs> yes, yes. But in his own right. In my own right. You're just going to kind of go where you want to, right? Yeah, where I'll the probably, weather's good. Yeah, I'll probably live in the Pacific Northwest a lot. Colorado, yeah. Utah, you know. All the good or, places. Oregon, Idaho. You don't have to go to Nebraska. And, Nebraska or and Ohio. Ohio. Yeah, yeah. Like I do. Yeah. By the way, Maria said she is cold. Uh, it's not. It's not cold. It is not it's, cold. It's windy. It's windy, but wind does not equate to cold. Um, so, yeah. It was a little chilly. Uh, you know, Joel, who <laughs> sold me the Defender, said I was a fraud because I always claim I love cold weather. L little Miss, I'm from Michigan. Uh, I love the cold, but she's she's cold tonight. So, yeah. So, Eric says I'm a fraud. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Maybe, Found her out. Maybe you could. Maybe you can move to Texas after all. No. Oh my gosh, I couldn't. The humidity, <laughs> I would die. Yeah. Sorry, I told you he's a trash dog. This proves it. Bubby. He's like, what? I thought I was helping. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Right. Try to get some sleep. Yeah, I'll probably go to bed at like four in the morning. I told you I'd be up by nine. You're right, you're 10 minutes early. Hey buddy, good morning. Morning, how'd you sleep? All right, I got really congested for some reason, I don't know why. Nice, bub. Guess what time I stayed up till? 4.30. Four. Four. I uh, tried to go to bed at 3.30, like I stopped editing at 3.30 and then I just like couldn't fall asleep until four. I was like, I think I said four last night too, didn't I? Yeah, I think you said five, but yeah. You're wearing your Sheriff Eric t-shirt. Check it out. <laughs> awesome. That's so funny. Did you happen to do the uh, oatmeal last night? Yeah. You did? I did, yeah. Are you hungry now? Yeah. yeah. Coconut flakes, chocolate chips. Oh, thank you. you add as many or as little as you want. Sweet. Appreciate it. See, he's just like energy from the moment he wakes yeah. up. Yep. They are energy on four legs. Energizer bunny. Thank you for bringing all this. You're like the camping pro. Oh, this is fantastic. I have them every morning. Perfect. Is it good? I haven't tried it yet. 
Oh, it's very good. What kind of coffee did you use? Uh, this is uh, Pete's. Pete's? Nice. You ever had it? Yeah. yeah. I had uh, Pete's in Boston. They have stores there. Blue. Boston. 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 Blue, you are so gross already. What the heck happened? Somebody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, they're matching. <laughs> yeah. Matching Po merch. That's awesome. You really have all of the gadgets, Eric. Well, I wanted to be able to take a shower, so that's the, you know, and then that's what's cool is you got like a dish rack here. Yeah. Um, that's so cool. cool. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. It's on hinges and everything. The Yakima. Yeah. All right, Bubby, you gotta say bye to Eric. Let me at least put this one on before you go. Okay. Time to swap out pose. Turn signal. If you guys remember when I backed into the tree. It's got a connector and everything. Sweet. Easy peasy. I were you able to get these stateside, or did you have to get these from the UK? No, I had to get them from. Well, no, I got I got them from Rovers North. I lied. The, they're uh, in Vermont. Oh, yeah, because they came really fast. There you Thank go. you. Let me test it out. Yeah. Here, I'll give you the camera. Yay! Works. It works. Cool. It's on there, so. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome. I'm glad it's a load off, actually. You're the best. I feel like it affected you more than me. <laughs> well, I just, sometimes when I'm on a mission, I have to accomplish yeah, the mission. Yeah, I know? feel you. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Cool. Bubby, we get were out really... Of here. Yeah, get, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Welcome. Look at Poe. He's brand new. Spiffy. Cool. Yeah. All right, give me a hug. I'm all dirty, so. It's okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so Bye -bye. much. Yep. Drive safe. Let me know when you get into town. Will do. I want to get to the bunker. When I get to what? To the bunker. I want to see it. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I will for sure. Maybe I'll do a live there if I have service. That would be cool. I'm sure they've got internet. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you again to Eric for just fixing Poe. That is such a relief. Thanks for tuning in, you guys, to watch me camp with a subscriber. I hope I get to see more of you on the road and camp with more of you as we go. But uh, this is it for me and Blue today. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.